The Sahaba radiallahu anhum, they have very special love to Sayyidina Mustafa sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. I give you one example. You know the narration of when Sayyidina Mustafa sallallahu alayhi wa sallam months, he was uh, uh, giving, they, they made for him the member first time. After he used, for many years, he used to give the khutbah, he used to give them on the top of a trunk of tree, a bit high. So he used to stand on the top of that trunk and give the khutbah for quite some time. And then one lady with her children, they've kept a vow, a nazar, to make member for him, and they made it, member of three steps. The day they brought the member, and they removed the trunk away, they put it in the side of the masjid, and they put the member for him, sallallahu alayhi wasallam, and he went up to the member, while he start, when, when he just started giving the khutbah, all of them at the masjid, they hear the sound of crying. And that cry, they said, it looks like a mother whom she just lost her baby. We hear the cry like that. So we turn, who is, who is the one who cry? Where is it? When we turn, we saw that the sound coming from that trunk. Crying. Why? Because Sayyidina Rasulullah that day left him. So what happened? Sayyidina Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa came down and went to that trunk and he hugged that trunk until cooled down and become quiet. And he continued the khutbah and he said to his people, if I have left him cry like that, it will continue until end of the life. Al-Hasan al-Basri radiyallahu an, Imam al-Tabi'een said, Whenever I read this hadith, I will cry. Why? He said, that trunk, wood, cut it wood, and he's dead. Cry because of Rasulullah left him. I don't know why I cannot cry and I am a human which, and I have a heart to feel. That makes me cry for myself. Why I don't have the same love to Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam.